This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Full Sail University. A brand new iPad and one more thing in San Francisco, fast cars and future tech in Switzerland could only mean one thing. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup. Round them up. Woohoo! What is going on, everybody, and welcome to the Rumor Roundup. My name is Noah Kravitz. I'm editor at large for Techno Buffalo, and I've got myself a brand new cyan blue watch. All right, let's get into it. We've got an event coming up in San Francisco, an event going on in Geneva. Uh, also, like I said, I've got myself a brand new blue cyan watch. Did I say that or just say it in my head? I'm so excited about it. Thanks to the folks at Lunatic. Anyway, let's get to the roundup. That's what you're here for. First off, there's an official date for the next Apple event. March 7th in San Francisco, the uh, tech media will be gathering with bated breath to see what Apple CEO Tim Cook and his team have cooked up next for the world, try to drive that market cap that just passed $500 billion up to, I don't even know, I don't even want to think about how high their stock could go. Everybody is expecting I, uh, Apple to unveil the new iPad, perhaps to be named iPad 3, but might there be something else on tap as well? Invites that were sent out to the media included a photo of somebody's finger uh, tapping on what looked to be a new iPad with a very high resolution display and included the text, we have something you really have to see, period, and touch, period. Now to me, that text, and everybody likes to read into Apple's things and read the tea leaves and the whole thing, but to me that means they've got two separate things going on. Something you can see and something you can touch. And then, of course, they've got you know the melding of those two things together. So to me that says we're going to get the new iPad 3 because you can touch it, but we're also going to get a new Apple TV. And rumors point to this, a refresh of Apple TV running on a new chip, possibly the new A5X dual-core chip that can handle 1080p full HD video playback, something the current Apple TV cannot do. And then that would be paired up with the new iPad 3 with the so-called Retina display, the double resolution Retina display. Also rumors kicking around, will we see Siri on the new iPad? I don't know. And then crazy rumors coming from our fine friends at Digitimes talking about how there's already an iPad mini in production and a 14 inch MacBook Air, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. Who knows? But uh, this coming, what is that? March 7th would be a Wednesday in San Francisco, an Apple event expecting to see a new iPad again. I'm, my money's on iPad 3 with LTE, a 9.7 inch screen, same basic form factor, but the double resolution retina display, and then some kind of integration for Siri to control a new Apple TV, a new remote app. Whatever Apple's got, We'll tell you all about it next week, so stay tuned for our coverage on March 7th. Speaking of things we're covering, the Geneva Auto Show is coming up. I'm not going, but John and Mike are. What can we expect from Geneva? We'll get to that after a word from our sponsor. You know that the mobile app industry is on fire right now. Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skill set you need to take advantage of these emerging opportunities. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and business side of mobile development so that you can concept, develop, and deploy mobile apps from start to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, Works and usability principles, and also app deployment for both the iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, students receive a MacBook Pro fully loaded with industry standard software, and students also receive both iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education program, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. 15 billion apps apps have been downloaded from the App Store. 15 billion apps, think about that. And Android market share is expected to increase 600% by the end of 2012. If you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, just visit fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo. That's fullsale.edu slash technobuffalo to learn more about this online degree program. All kinds of brand new fancy fast cars are descending upon Geneva, Switzerland. Our own John Rettinger and Mike Perlman are headed out to the world's most neutrally fabulous country, Switzerland, to check out the Geneva Auto Show. By the way, 
Big shout out to Todd Hasselton who just killed it with his MWC coverage. If you haven't seen that, go back and you know get yourself a pot of coffee in about six hours to read all the stuff that Todd wrote up from the show. But like I was about to say before I cut myself off, which I often do, did I tell you about my watch? Uh, Mobile World Congress this year, a lot of the companies previewed their new phones ahead of the show, and that's what happens a lot in the auto industry as well. But lots of stuff being teased that's gonna be officially unveiled at the show including the fastest Ferrari ever, the 599 replacement, the F12 Berlinetta, the 2013 Mercedes-Benz SL63 AMG, the Hyundai Ioniq, their new concept car, the new Nissan Altima, which is a little more in the range of what most of us can afford. Volkswagen's got some concepts, and I think they've got the new Passat CC, the BMW 135M Performance Concept. Also from BMW, we're expecting to see the Active Hybrid 3, the first 3 Series hybrid, the Jaguar XF. What are they call this one the the sport brake I don't know, shooting brake is a term in the car industry to describe wagons. So it's Jaguar wagon. Bentley apparently might show off a plug-in hybrid SUV. We might also see an SUV concept from Lamborghini, which just kind of boggles my mind. And uh, I don't know, man, just a whole bunch of other stuff. Good thing I'm not going because I can't even keep track of the rumors, let alone what's actually going to be at the show. But Mike and John will be there, and they're going to be busy. Mike Perlman heading up our automotive and imaging department, so he's going to be busy this year. Like I said, we've got Todd now on board, kind of heading up the mobile stuff, Technobuff just growing we're happy to have you with us and i've got it i already told you about it and thanks to the folks at revision three for having us till next week my name is noah kravitz this has been room around up run them up we'll see you next week bye bye look at my watch now oh my god <laughs>